Well, he's Bruno and I'm Papa and welcome to It's Bruno's World. And it's day number nine of Bruno's 100 Days of Disney. And we are here at Magic Kingdom where we are about to get enlisted. That's right, we are gonna check out this. Come along with us. Let's go. So I guess you could say it is a little crowded, at least here at the Magic Kingdom. Let's go over to Adventureland and let's see if we can go do a Pirate's Adventure. So now we're going to try the Pirate's Adventure. I'm assuming we're English because we're uh, speaking pretty well. <laughs> so far, so good. Go ahead and scan Magic Band or ticket right over there on the yeah. side for me. On this one? Yep, on the starfish there. Perfect. Nice. Alrighty, how many is it all together? Two. Two? Alrighty, go ahead and grab a Guardian's Curse from right over there. Which one? You want that one? Guardian's Curse. Guardian's okay, Curse. We're going to do this one. Yep, yeah, there you go. As you like. Okay, we're going to do. We'll get two of those. And then this is the symbol you're gonna be looking for. Okay, we're gonna look for a, a parrot. Good luck, guys. All right, thank you. All right, so we are gonna do Guardian's Curse. So if you like this video, go ahead and comment below uh, if you would like this copy of the Guardian's Curse map, and Bruno will sign it for you, and we'll send it out to you. Okay, so uh, let's see what we're doing here. So let's turn, turn the map like this way, so we can read it. Now, we have to find out where our starting point is. Um, so, where is our starting point? Do not touch the treasure chest, that's for the commander. Who's the commander? The guy with the hat, right there. So, okay, he said look for the parrot. So, let's find the parrot, which should be... Okay, so there we go. We are here. We're gonna go through that archway. Yes! We're gonna go through the archway, and we're looking for the parrot that is just over here. See it right there? Uh -huh. So let's see if we can find it. See, I'm trying to figure out if we're, this is, it's showing us right here, because he said look for the bird. Because our starting point's the bird. So it's just over here. Let's, is it this thing? Bruno, take this, take this, touch it to the bird on said now we're looking for this place so we need to find this which is behind those little tiki's that spit all right so i know where that is let's go it says the commander shall leave us a message once he's retrieved our treasure for us yes and it looks like we are touching this little spot right here. All right, so let's give it a try. Nothing? Uh-oh. Yeah, that one's not working. Shall I be in devotion? I had it in my hands, but you and Jack Sparrow tricked me. While you receive its power, I receive its curse. Mark my words, as soon as I discover how to break this curse, I'll have my revenge! Okay, so here is our next spot, and look at here. Here is our swords. Oh, my dear friend. 
Seems you've got our cool. We have, so we were now assigned a different uh, a different game. Uh, this one is called Heads You Lose. So and he, she said that the first one we're looking for is this one, which is located right over across from the spitting camel, it looks like. So let's go find that. Alright, what's going on? It's like when I get this. It's this Okay, so now what are we gonna do? So we're gonna take a Bruno's magic band, touch it there. Oh, because oh, not so long ago I was a pirate just like you be. The treasure of the Pacific. I saw it with me own two eyes. I can show ye where to find it. Hold the anchor. Hey! Who's hiding behind that mask? Thank you kindly, ye scurvy dogs. You've shown me precisely where I need be setting cars. Barbosa, curse him! <laughs> so this Quickly story... get to find the treasure before he does. Look ye to that post. Find the magical mark of the blow dart on your map. You'll find Barbosa there. Okay, we have to find a blow dart. See if you can find a blow dart on your map. All right, so where is that? Let's take a look. He hold it. I'll hold it. All right, find the oracle hiding a skull. Where is that? Uh, okay, okay. So it is right down the alley. I know where this is. So it's down the alley. Okay, I know. Let's go. And we're going back across. There's a lot of crisscrossing back and forth around here. So you go one side and then uh, they send you all the way to the other side of front of, of uh, Adventureland. So we're going back across. We found them. Come on, do it. Do it. Come on, you got it. He's scared to touch the skull. All right, touch it. My magic has protected you this time. Look closely at my necklace. Search your map for the magical mark of a lock. It will lead you to the chest of bones. Find a padlock. Oh, it's right here. There's a padlock. Okay, so where is the padlock? So uh, we are going. Oh, inside that. Okay, this is Tortuga. That's Tortuga. Okay, we're going. This one's saying to go inside the shop and find the chest made of bones. I think we found a chest made out of bones. I'll touch it. All right. Here we go. We're gonna take the magic band and we're gonna touch it. Barbosa! That builds red Barbosa betrayed us all. You've got to exact our revenge. Look up there through the door. Watch the map. Find the magical mark of the palm tree on your map. That's where you'll find the treasure. We need to find the palm tree. Let's take the palm tree. Yep, there it is. Okay, so where is the palm tree? Uh, palm tree is... Uh, oh, right next to the spitting tiki's. I know where this is. Let's go. And now we're going back across again, back toward the tiki room. It's a lot of back and forth. It is right here, and it looks like we're supposed to be touching this skull. So here goes. At last, we have found one worthy to bear the ocean's mighty power. The power of the treasure of the Pacific flows through now. Go, go, and go. Use it well. You found the treasure of the Pacific. Well done. Now. Seeing as I could always use more proper pirates to help me find more treasures, I invite you to set course back to the enlistment center, and some able-bodied misanthrope will be handing you another map. Guess what, guys? I did it! I 
look on the back is a sword. I did the sword. And look on the front. That's the front. And this is the back. So once you complete all of the uh, the locations and you find them all in the correct order, we learned you, that today, you has to be in the correct it. order, you get one of these cards. Apparently, if you collect enough of these cards, you actually get a fast pass for the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. So uh, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get enough cards today to do the fast pass, but we will are or we are going to be uh, trying to get that later. So right now, we are on our way to go check out Big Thunder Mountain because we have a fast pass. It's a little busy. So now when you get to this part, it says use both sides. It doesn't really matter which side. There's two trains that are underneath this, and it doesn't really matter which side you go to. They're both about the same line, just so that you know. It seems like one line would be faster than the other, but it's not really. Um, one side moves, and then the other one does because of how they do it at the bottom of the ramp. Now, because of the nature of the Big Thunder Railroad, you want to ask for the back because the back is faster or it feels faster than the front. Um, you'll see when we ride it here that once we crest one of the hills, the cars in the front will already be over the hill before the cars in the back even get to the top. So then they're basically waiting on the ones in the back. Then once, if you're in the back, you'll get to the crest and then you'll go very fast. So you'll, you'll get more of the hill that way. So we tried to ask for the back row and they gave us like the third from back. So, but they just basically weren't listening today. So we got sort of in the back. So we'll see what happens. As of today, this is toward the end of the year. We're into September, almost in October. And theirs looks like it's a lot more enclosed than over in Tokyo. So at least that's what it looks like so far. Unless that's just temporary, but this one looks like it's completely inside a building. Well, that effectively is going to end today's <laughs> adventure here at Magic Kingdom for day nine of Bruno's 100 days of Disney. It was really fun and it was amazing that we got to do this. This was lots of fun. Day nine, we are just getting started. So go ahead and if you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell and follow us on all those social medias. I'll go ahead and post the links below. But until next time, we will see you tomorrow. He's tired.